Hey all, Heba here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the, one of the most beloved RPGs of the past few years, Baldur's Gate 3. Now this isn't just any game, it is an epic, immersive and deeply engaging experience that has captivated players worldwide. But why exactly do so many people love playing it? What makes BG3 stand out in a sea of other RPGs and what makes it so special? In today's video we'll break down exactly why Baldur's Gate 3 is a must play for so many, exploring its gameplay, storytelling, world building and the systems that make it such a standout title. So grab your sword, prepare your spells and let's dive into the world of Faerun. Before we dive into Baldur's Gate 3, let's just take a quick look at the franchise's legacy. The Baldur's Gate series has been one of the cornerstones of Western role-playing games since its first release in 1998. Back then, developed by Bioware, the original Baldur's Gate took players into a world of the Forgotten Realms, adapting the Dungeons and Dragons rule set into an immersive, isometric RPG. Its innovative story, memorable characters and complex decision-making set it apart from other RPGs at the time. Players were immersed in a vast open world with deep role-playing elements and their choices shaped the story in meaningful ways. Baldur's Gate 2 followed suit, improving on the formula with an even richer story, more complex characters and more freedom for the player. These games became legendary in the RPG genre and they set the bar for what players expect from an epic fantasy RPG. So uh, fast forward to 2023 and Baldur's Gate 3 comes along as the third chapter in the saga. Developed by Larian Studios, the same team behind Divinity Original Sin 2 and Divinity Original Sin of course, Baldur's Gate 3 takes the franchise into a new era with modern technology, a new narrative direction and a focus on player choice and consequence. One of the biggest draws of Baldur's Gate 3 is the immense level of freedom it gives to players. From the very beginning, you're faced with choices that will shape your character's story. This isn't just about choosing you know, between good or evil. Every decision, no matter how small, can have a large, lasting impact on the world and the people around you. Much like Divinity Original Sin 2, Baldur's Gate 3 puts a premium on player agency. Whether it's in the way you build your character, the decisions you make during dialogue, or how you approach quests, the game never forces you down a single path, right? Every choice you make feels meaningful. And sometimes you're faced with tough moral decisions that can affect your relationships with allies, shape the world, or even alter the course of the main story. What's incredible is how these choices don't affect the immediate situation. In Baldur's Gate 3, Actions taken early in the game can echo throughout the entire experience, right? With characters remembering your decisions and the world shifting based on your actions. It's a level of consequence that really few role-playing games offer. And it's part of what makes Baldur's Gate 3 so captivating. Now let's talk about one of the most important aspects of Baldur's Gate 3. It's combat system. If you've ever played Divinity Original Sin 2, you'll notice that the tactical turn-based combat feels very familiar. But what sets Baldur's Gate 3 apart is how it integrates the Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition rule set into the mix. The game uses a turn-based combat system where positioning, environmental awareness and your character's abilities are critical to success. Want to take the high ground? That'll give you a bonus to your attack rolls. Need to avoid a trap? Think fast, because even in the terrain can be a weapon. The combat system is deep and rewarding, and it's all about strategic thinking. Just like Divinity Original Sin 2, Baldur's Gate 3 gives you the ability to interact with the environment during combat. You can set fire to the battlefield, use magic to freeze enemies, or electrocute a pool of water to sap your foes. The possibilities are pretty much endless really, and the depth of tactical options makes each fight feel very very fresh. The combat is also designed to reward teamwork and party synergy. 
every character in your party has unique abilities, strengths and of course also weaknesses. Your success depends on not just on your own character, right, but how well you work with your companions. This strategic party based gameplay is another reason why Baldur's Gate 3 is just so much fun. It's not just about the actions you take, right? It's about how those actions come together to create exciting tactical scenarios. Of course, one of the things that really makes Baldur's Gate 3 truly stand out is its rich cast of characters. Unlike many role playing games where companions are simply tools to help you on your journey, the characters in Baldur's Gate 3 are complex, nuanced and full of personality. Each one comes with their own backstory, motivations and also their own moral compass. Take Astarion for example, a charming, sarcastic vampire spawn who has a dark, tortured past. His interactions with you can both be humorous and tense as he wrestles his own desires and the moral implications of his actions. Then there's Shadowheart, the mysterious cleric with a hidden agenda, whose loyalties and beliefs are constantly tested throughout the game. These companions, and others like them, are a huge part of what makes the game's story just so captivating. The depth of these relationships is what really draws players in. You don't just control your character, you shape your interactions with your companions, and the way you treat them will impact the story. Will you romance one of them? Sure. Will you trust them with your darkest secrets or will you betray them for personal gain? It's all up to you. And it's not just companions. The story itself is rich, layered and full of twists. Baldur's Gate 3's narrative is influenced by Dungeons and Dragons, of course, but Larian Studios has managed to take that and turn it into something more personal and emotionally resonant. Every player's story is unique and the game reacts to your choices, uh, leading to different outcomes, quests, and you know, even endings. Many of Baldur's Gate 3's mechanics and systems are built on the foundation laid by Divinity Original Sin 1 and 2, uh, a game that has already set the standard for RPGs in terms of depth, freedom, and creativity. If you ever played Divinity Original Sin 2, you'll immediately recognize the familiar turn-based combat the environmental manipulation and the emphasis on creative solutions. But Baldur's Gate 3 takes everything to the next level. It introduces a much more refined and polished version of the systems that made Divinity Original Sin 2 so beloved. The addition of the Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition rule set means that combat is even more structured, while the storytelling is richer with multiple branching paths deep character development and consequences that resonate throughout the game. Also, one of the standout features of Baldur's Gate 3 is its world building. The Forgotten Realms is a vast, intricate place with ancient secrets, dangerous creatures and diverse environments. Whether you're exploring dense forests, navigating through treacherous dungeons or immersing yourself in the bustling streets of Baldur's Gate, the game makes every location feel alive. The attention to detail in the game's environments is just phenomenal. Each area is filled with lore, hidden treasures and meaningful interactions. And with the freedom to approach every quest in your own way, Baldur's Gate 3 allows you to explore the world at your own pace, discovering the many mysteries it has to offer. Another standout feature of Baldur's Gate 3 that makes it feel even more unique is its multiplayer modes. While many role-playing games offer single-player campaigns, Baldur's Gate 3 is built to be played cooperatively with friends. And this is not just a throwaway feature, it is an integral part of the experience that can drastically change how you play the game. Unlike other RPGs that might let you tackle a side quest with friends or offer a separate co-op mode, Baldur's Gate 3 is built from the ground up and integrates multiplayer directly into the core of the experience. You and your friends aren't just playing together, you're sharing the world, you're making choices and experiencing the story in a way that's unique to every group. In multiplayer, every player controls their own character and every decision has the potential to change the course of the game for everyone involved. For example, while one player might decide to save a town, 
Another might take a more ruthless approach, leading to a completely different outcome. This dynamic creates tension, drama and a real sense of unpredictability. The world is constantly reacting to the choices your group makes, sometimes in ways that you didn't expect. So for an example, imagine this. You're in a conversation with an NPC. One player chooses to be diplomatic, while another decides to threaten them. The outcome isn't just shaped by the choices of one player, it's the combination of everyone's actions. This creates a rich tapestry of dialogue, where group dynamics and varying playstyles influence how situations unfold. It's a far cry from the solitary experience of single player games, and it adds a level of unpredictability that is incredibly engaging. The beauty of multiplayer in Baldur's Gate 3 is how it amplifies the drama and excitement of the story. Imagine being in a tense battle where each player's decisions matter. One person might cast a healing spell, while another prepares an area of effect attack to wipe out a group of enemies. And then, when it's time to decide who gets the loot, the fun doesn't end with the battle. It continues into discussions about character builds, gears, and how to handle the next challenge. It's social, it's very strategic, and often very hilarious. Multiplayer also introduces the idea of role-playing between players themselves, right? Not only are you controlling your character, but you're also interacting with your friends, debating your next move, sharing lore, and also planning your next quest. Whether it's deciding whether to kill or spare a certain character, whether to enter a dangerous dungeon or leave it for later, these moments create a deep sense of camaraderie and sometimes competition. And just like the single player game, multiplayer is filled with moral decisions. However, these moral quandaries often hit differently when shared with others. So why do people love playing Baldur's Gate 3? Because it is a game that combines tactical depth, freedom of choice, memorable characters and a world full of surprises. If you haven't yet experienced it for yourself, now is the perfect time to dive in. Also, let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments below, what has been your favorite part of the adventure so far. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more in-depth videos. Until then, see you out there.